Good morning, everyone. We really hope that all of you enjoyed our four-week series on Moses. Oh, Ralph. Ralph! Oh, oh. Hey, well, Ralph. Hello there, Mary. Ralph, how's it going? Man, I've missed you, Ralph. I've missed you too, Mary. I'm so happy to see you. I've got to give you a kiss. Mm, thank you, Ralph. That was awesome. You're welcome. Guys, today we get to talk about this super cool guy. Who is it, Mary? Ralph, he's super awesome. Is he more awesome than you? Mm, I mean, I understand that's really hard to do, but yeah, I mean, he's this really cool guy named Paul. Oh, wow, Paul, cool, man. Yes, Paul is awesome, and so guys, we're going to watch a quick worship video, play a Bible trivia game, and then we can't wait to see you right back here. See you soon. Bye-bye.
there was a man who was not very nice in the beginning. He was a man who, oh no, he made some threats against the Lord's disciples. This is bad. Saul was not good, not good at all. The Bible tells us that Saul destroyed the church. He even approved of the killing of Christians. One day, Saul was on his way to a place called Damascus. Suddenly, he fell on the ground, and he heard a voice. It said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? I am Jesus, who you are persecuting. Now get up, go to the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men with Saul stood there speechless. That means they didn't know what to say. They heard the sound, but they did not see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. He was blind. What? Yep, you heard me right. He was blind. He was blind for three days. He did not eat or drink anything. After those three days, Saul listened to the voice of God. He began to speak boldly about the name of Jesus. This was awesome. Saul listened to the Lord, and he did everything the Lord asked of him. As Saul began to live for the Lord, he soon had a name change. He became Paul. Paul was a huge figure in the New Testament. He wrote 13 of those New Testament books. He also went on many missionary journeys. We can learn so much from the life of Paul. Amen! Mary, this is so cool how God can take our lives no matter what and still use us. Ralph, you're exactly right. And all throughout this time, we've been learning about so many different biblical figures. We've learned about Moses. We've learned about Daniel. We've learned about Jonah. Man, Jonah literally disobeyed God and God still used him. <laughs> uh, Mary, hold me. <laughs> I can't believe it. Can I blow my nose on your shirt, Mary? Yeah, but Ralph, why? <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe it. God could even use someone like me. Ralph, yes, and God has been using you, and God's going to continue to use us. Acts 9, 20 says, At once he began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the Son of God. Guys, we love you, and we can't wait for you to tune in next week to hear the next story about Paul. We can't wait to see you soon. See you later. Bye-bye.